basically when I went to sleep and I woke up, they took everything. They took my passport. They took all my money. They, I still have my phone, but they took everything other than that. And they're saying that they need, if I want all my stuff back, I have to give $20,000. People, you guys are going to be so overwhelmed when you know, hear this brother grandmother response or reaction to way my face to her. But we have some more important things, some more excited things to get out of the way first. Now, did the TJ reveal that he's willing to collaborate with Byron Messiah? People, you see, after you see what TJ posts, you have to really wonder if the beef for them did have, if it was actually fake. We also have Byron Messiah, and Byron Messiah this the fix. You know, speak pan how people are saying him disrespect Jamaica. You understand? Now, it seems like the artist are making me know and him never mean to do that or him never do that in the first place. But we are getting to that as well. So let's get started. Grandma, Grandma, I'm so scared. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. So I went, I went over, to, uh, went, like I went to Cuba, like, you know, I took a trip to Cuba. And then I met a girl outside of the resort and I ended up going to her house. And, and then basically when I went to sleep and I woke up, they took everything. They took my passport. They took all my money. They, I still have my phone, but they took everything other than that. And they're saying that they need, if I want all my stuff back, I have to give $20,000 pesos. So please, they told me to call one person. And I know like you love me so much. And no matter what in this world that anything happens to me, you'll make sure you can like, you'll make sure I'm good. So please, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. They gave me one call and I'm just sending you the voice note because I feel like you're the only one that can help me right now. So please. How were you say wa? So that's why you're not come back around Cuba. They might go get you over the car here. Me, the, the doctor said me no fit trouble. I wish part would I get 20, me no able have 20 crab loads. I want me to get 20 ton. Me mean tell you no go. Then the day did you over the your bitch yo. For if you empty work work and come home, not even a dime. Me mean tell you no go there. Then I work in a woman that you let you man in my Canada and go and kill bag and look woman. Grandma, Grandma, this is a serious matter. Like seriously, my phone's at five percent, and I need you more than ever right now. A bale a bar. I beat them. I beat your backside. I want them beat it till they turn this is sore. Me mean tell you no go to Cuba. Cuba no fi we. Cuba fi. A we you gonna you gonna go and do? I make them teeth your passport and a come call grandma, grandma. Can we bother with them? Make and then you. Tell every, tell everyone. I love them. So you turn a Cuba and send me your last goodbye. I your last goodbye that. Then let me say there you good over there. I am the body. No body over here now put 10 cents to help you. Women tell you say no go to Cuba. Now people, what are honestly your thoughts on this? Let me know inside the comments. It's most likely you know, a joke. Well, it is a joke because you know it's a prank. It's like my pranking grandmother. But anyways, let's move on. Funk Flex on Instagram recently posted this. It's basically a collage, right? It's called a collage, right? Anyways. TJ and Byron Messiah. Inside his caption, he had this. Do you guys accept the music challenge? Yes or no? Challenge, challenge, challenge. I challenge TJ. I challenge Byron Messiah. I challenge both artists to collab on a new song by this Thursday, 7 p.m., Hot 97. Do you guys accept the challenge? And then he went on to tag some people. No. Re in response to that, as you can see in TJ's caption right here, TJ posted this video, a short clip from Let's Be Honest, when Jeffrey did an interview, you know, Pablo IG. No, we definitely have a sure, because when I went over TJ's Instagram to grab that video, I saw this. The caption was actually edited. This reads, no, Jano, at Funk Flex, anything for the culture, my G. So... Right now, TJ is definitely willing to collaborate with Byron Messiah and the people that says a lot. You know, that says a lot as it relates to TJ's ego and TJ's maturity 
you know, as it relates to the dance or the dance or music. And that's if this is not all fake. But if it is fake from the start, if Baron Messiah and TJ did actually come together and decide say they're gonna do this for attention or just be for the culture itself. Well, then this did bound for happen. The thing is, a lot of people over Funk Flex, you know, page under that post, them uh, really convinced that that will never happen in the history of dance hall. A lot of people have said stuff like, you know, that will never happen, so don't look out for that. That will never happen, so don't expect that. Don't have no hopes for that, stuff like that. But TJ has other plans, people, right now. And... Uh, to how it look, Baron Messiah is the only one right now to say, all right, then I will collab with TJ as well. But you know, people, in due time, we are going to find out what is what and we are going to see what is going right? But, you know, just big up TJ Panda move there. It actually takes a lot to do something like this. And this is if it was not all staged, right? Bless up the two artists them, Byron Messiah and TJ. So people Byron Messiah recently made a post to his Instagram story where he basically addressed people who say him this Jamaica and him this the culture and whatever. Right? Now him also this the fix. You know, inside that song, it was a song preview. And he was like, you know, tell the fix we got S the mother. I'm not gonna play the music, let me just make that be clear because it contains copyrighted material, obviously. But if you guys go over Baron Messiah's story, well, within the next 24 hours, then you will definitely see it if it's not deleted, right? Either way, Unaga hear the song very soon, hopefully. And uh, as I've stated, him address people who say him this the culture, you know, him this dance hall. Him address the fix and tell them about their mother. And I saw one bag of things. Him also address the vloggers them as well. Let me just make that be clear. You know, and so one bag of things. As I've stated, we are gonna hear that song very soon, so make we go and look out. Hello Lois, the seven star general. Are you me come for talk to right now, you know? Saying me or you say a thing, you know. Here we are say a son now. Rat last night I'm a cussing off. When I see me get a rat last night I'm a cussing off because me tell you the evil on this one you go away and the ungratefulness on you go away. That piece of judgment I go take on you. Hold on, hold on, the Mama Michelle, cause I'm not gonna lie there. Hold on, the Mama Michelle. Mama. Yes. You come, you come check me last week, don't it? Yes, yes, bro. And don't me tell us how earthquake I'm gonna lick them. Yes, yes, you did. And stand right. up in the same clothing when you tell us on, yes. All right, and you come check my back. And if you come check my back, the earthquake come and tell us what they will get. What, what I'm just quiet. Earthquake, we don't feel it yet. They don't feel nothing yet. And at last, I'm going to cuss them to the Mama Michelle. All right, L.A. Lewis. All right, sir. Them don't feel nothing yet. Hear me now, L.A. Lewis. We don't want any more earthquake, you know. If I, you are casting an earthquake, they feel a shake, you know. Why you, we don't want no more earthquake here, sir. No more destruction from Jamaica. No more destruction in Jamaica. You know where earthquake cast. You swear it do to Haiti and other countries. Destruction. You understand? Weeping and moaning and wailing and gnashing of teeth. So me I said to you now, L.A. Lewis, if you so powerful, that you can call on earthquake and predict earthquake for coming shake up Jamaica. Why you don't use the power there and make Jamaica better? See? And bring in and invoke and invoke some good things in a Jamaica. Make some good things up in a Jamaica. See? And make people's life better. See? No more destruction, you know. You say, if you are calling them the earthquake, the choke, you, you, you just say, cock, mouth, kill, cock in her, in her, in her, You say, if I really that you are dealing with, me I tell you, you know. No more destruction, you know, no more earthquake. Use the power the way you have and do pure good things to Jamaican people. You hear me tell you that? All right, L.A. Lewis, Seven Star General. We cool? Make sure so we cool, you know. We cool, sir? All right, we cool then. We cool. Celestia, Rastafari. Me, Shaquille Morris said that. Aight. So people, you know, that was uh, Shaquille Murray. 
veteran Shaquille Murray speaking on L.A. Lewis and the whole earthquake situation the other day. You understand now it seems, I'm not sure, it seems L.A. Lewis they did some type of prediction as it relates to the earthquake. And now this is uh, Shaquille Murray's reaction to that. Okay? Now people, if you make it this far inside the video, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for your support. Bless upon yourself. Oh, I think, hold on. Yes, I actually had something else to update you guys on. Seven artist Plumpy Boss recently posted this to his Instagram story. Big up my bad dog, Top G Skeng. Love forever. You understand? No people, let me know what you think about this. If you guys are curious, this is a seven artist. So just like how we have six artists. This is a seven artist from Trinidad. You understand? So, you know, bless upon yourself. Stay tuned for more content by hitting that subscribe button first of all. And hit the bell so you never miss that update.